What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again with some more My Hero Academia. Today we're doing season six, episode four. Last episode, I know you guys agree, was one of the craziest episodes of My Hero yet, it, not let alone season six. We lost an absolute real one, even though technically he was a villain. I have to give the honorary RIP to my boy twice, Jin Bubaya Gawara, the absolute goat. Toga and Mr. Compressed were there to see it. Hawks is the one who did it. Um, we also know have Dabby knowing Hawks' name, which you guys thankfully let me know that uh, it's not crazy him knowing Endeavor's name, but Hawks' name, especially with how he grew up being the espionage secret undercover guy is super crazy. So I need to know more about Dabby. Very excited. Hopefully you guys are as well. If you are, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. If you guys want the full uncut version of this episode, as well as early access and uncuts to the other shows I'm watching, One Piece, Assassination Classroom, Kuroko no Basket, check out that Patreon. Links are down below like always. Let's hop right on into it. I don't believe I have a title for this episode. Let me see if I can find one. This one is called Inheritance. So, oh, that's this is going to be crazy, I can tell. We have like the typical uh, present Mike announcing, except it's Tokoyami talking about his teacher. I, lo I love it so far. Now, are we getting Tokoyami saying this because we're going to get an amazing... Ooh, oh, yeah, very true. Are we getting amazing Tokoyami moment this episode, or are we going to get more amazing Hawks moment? Fire. I knew that's where they're going, especially because after he's done with twice, we still... Oh, that's that boy Dabby and Hawks. I love how Tokoyami was saying this, and now we're cutting over to this. Oh, oh. Right. And you call yourself a hero. You killed Jin Bubai Gawara. But he really needed to, you know? Otherwise, twice is a truly scary threat. Right? That is not the face I was expecting you to be making. Really? Now, what is your dream? I need to know, Dabby. Yeah, but it sounds like you're a little manipulatively sad, you know? I'm really sad for your own personal goals. So, as a child, he said goodbye to that name. So how does Dabby have that information? I've always been a fan of how he looks up to Endeavor versus All Might, you know? And they're talking about Endeavor when it cuts to Dabby as well. What the fuck did he just say? I was gonna say, he's sounding a lot like Stang right now. Kill the fakes, only true heroes will remain, you know? Damn, season two was so good. It's crazy we haven't had Stain in the show. I know he's in prison and he's, you know, locked up. Because he, like, pierced his lung and went unconscious, right? He was such a badass. And I want to power scale him to current villains, you know? I really don't want Hawks to die. Is he, how is he gonna get out of there? He's being countered. What did fucking Dabby say to Hawks? Okay. We're cutting back over from Edshot's team over to Mirko and Endeavor. Please go help them out. Crust and uh, Mirko are going, going at it with these high ends. He's like embedding the, the shields and the crust through him, you know? It's actually super strong. With a flash fire fist mix in. Oh my god, my boy. There is not a second to lose. I firmly agree. Let's get going. With this crazy ass shot. I hate the fact that she lost her arm, but I love the fact that she doesn't need her arm. She is a gangster. I know. They're smart though, they adapt. They're getting stronger. I love the POV shot. Guess you have no choice but to... Yeah. To not fight the strongest. Let's go after the actual goal. Oh! Oh! 
This fucking woman with her leg, with her hip, with her arm, with her hair. Oh my god. I only hope to have one. I only hope to have as much willpower and resolve as this woman one day. That went through her leg. That's all I saw. Oh my god. These things are relentless. Okay, missed her head. Please keep going. With fucking Endeavor right behind her. Let's fucking go. I think Mirko might have snuck into my top five <laughs> heroes. I can't lie. With these episodes, she is... I got goosebumps. Yeah, they're so smart. These high-end gnomus are scary. Able to quickly tell who the eraser quirk is. Okay, AI brain putting the two pieces together. It's his eyesight. They're going to be able to tell. They're smart as shit. This is like some hunter hunter thinking to be able to determine their ability. And I love that. When Mirko said they've awakened, this is what she means. This is scary as shit. No. Oh. And she didn't get to fully break through it. She's still kicking. Oh my god. Now that Mirko's in your care, I hope she doesn't. Though, bro, that is such a deep wound. Yes, cauterize it, get her some medical assistance. I love how gritty this season is. They don't give a fuck. I got chills right now. Yes, please don't die. I'm with Endeavor. So, when they say awakened, they're talking about mentally and physically. Like, their quirks aren't even active yet from their awakening because it takes a little bit. The doctor said High End took 10 hours to awaken after he came out last time. So technically, he's not ready to be woken up, but he's waking him up. Talk about that boy present, Mike. He gets revenge for his friend Shirakumo. Checking authenticity. DJ Punch. Okay. I was hoping he would fucking scream and make his eardrums burst out, but hey, I'll take a solid right hook. The transfer of what? So he technically is dead. The device to revive him? 70 years ago. Something seems like it's going to go horribly wrong. Really? 70 years ago, he did say no one believed. He's over, he's 120 years old? No wonder he has such dedication and loyalty. Oh my god, I need, I need to go full backstory. Okay. In exchange for athletic ability. So twice the length of a normal life. So he gave his original to all for one. Yeah. Yeah, you are. This shot is crazy. His face while he's crying and looking deranged like that. Is this the mental state that Shigaraki's in right now? Is this mob psycho inception? What the fuck? These transitions. This really feels like the, the imagery and the visuals. It feels like a Mob Psycho episode. Like, look at that. Like, I'm loving the, the animation and the art style. And how big his dad was to him and how he was able to crumble everything. Oh, 
So, his ability to take quirks and give quirks, he duplicated that and gave the original to Tomura? What are we saying? And the face on his, the hand on his face, like exactly like, oh, this is so symbolic right now. It goes so deep. Something happened with the electricity and defibrillated, revived his heart. And he's up now. What the f what? Just know, next Saturday cannot come any goddamn sooner. Okay. Talk about an episode. Like, I don't even know where to begin. We have so much shit going on right now that it is baffling to me how the entirety of the last three episodes have taken place over like 30 minutes. You know, it's so much like season four where the entire infiltration, like 13 episodes, took place over like an hour or something like that. It's like Hunter Hunter with the Chimera Ant where like 70 episodes take place over like an hour. And i am thoroughly enjoying how much is going on i need to know more i'm not i don't want you guys to tell me obviously but my man dabby told something to hawks and i don't know what it is but it shook hawks to his core he said uh, shigaraki of the league of villains you should have marked me and he was saying he was going to carry on stain's will and how he was upset that his dreams are going to take a little bit longer to accomplish now that twice is dead in Bubaigawara is 100% dead. It's so crazy. We cut back over to Mirko, who's barely holding on to life, but still an absolute savage beyond comprehension. I love the animation and the justice they give her when they're animating her crazy ass kicks, her shenanigans. These Nomus are scary as shit when it comes to awaking mentally and physically, because who knows how many quirks they were given. And when it comes to duplicating quirks, uh, Garaki Kudai, the doctor who was 120 years old because he can live twice as long as a normal human gave his quirk to All for One. That's why he can live as long. But also All for One duplicated his quirk and gave the original to Tomura. Whereas Deku has pretty much just the handed down version of the original that All for One gave to his brother. Like this, it's getting so symbolic, philosophical, deep. Like uh, it's like faded, like type shit. Like this is like some destiny type shit. But he woke up at the end. It's scary. I was loving the mob psycho, like trauma, inner mentality, conscious that we were dealing with. I'm loving. I was oh, there's so much in this episode that was so good, but felt like it was still set up for next episode and crazierness to come. Shouts out to all these heroes, Eraser, uh, x Less. I'm forgetting all the rest of them, Crust, absolutely amazing. These gnomes are scary, I love how invested Endeavor is, he doesn't want Mirko to die, cauterizing her wound. Um, Present Mike, how personally he inv invested he is with uh, Kuro Giri, uh, Shirakumo, and how they, fucking they were saying they wanted to erase her, not even, it's so dark and fucking just terrifying. And now, with the way it ended, oh my god. God, I need next episode. Uh, one more week. The only thing I'm thankful for, well, obviously I'm thankful for a lot of things, but God, by golly, we have so many shows airing right now that a week goes by so fast. So I'm really not worried about it too much. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Check out that Patreon so you guys always have the early access, the full length, uncuts, all that jazz. Uh, don't forget to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day after squad. Peace out.